guys doing I am making this short video to help anybody who is trying to do a low to no budget audio production system maybe you're just beginning maybe you're just starting out maybe you want to uh, just do it on a budget for whatever reason um, nowadays it's pretty easy with open source digital audio workstations or DAWs, uh, open source software and, um, you know, a USB interface. We're going to talk about that in a second. But basically, uh, I run an audio consulting business. Uh, that's this page right here. Um, my, my, uh, Topics that I cover and the DAWs are listed there. I'm going to provide you some links in the description of this video so you can see there's some testimonials from people I've helped, uh, some of the different topics I consult in, and then a little bit about me and my audio engineering background. Okay, so then the other, uh, the other. page that's going to be in the description is this page which is my audio resources page it's a sub page of the audio consulting page uh, and uh, basically that has direct links to some of the digital audio workstations or DAWs uh, that I'm going to cover in just a second so uh, the main ones being Studio One, Audacity, and Reaper uh, some of the other ones that are listed on there are also very interesting to check out. And then briefly at the end of the video, I'm going to show you about Ubuntu Studio. So if you're if you're done with Mac and Windows, if you're done with the control, the lack of security, the bugs, and all of the expense of proprietary either operating systems or software, and uh, you want to kind of try something new, if you've got a slightly broken or old PC or a PC laptop sitting around, you can convert it to this special distro of uh, Linux, Ubuntu Studio, which is a supported version of Ubuntu, 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 depending on where you're from, how you say it. Uh, uh, and basically, this is a a Linux for creative people it comes pre-installed with uh, graphics apps, video production apps, audio production apps, uh, Ardour, which is uh, one of the, the more well-known open source uh, applications that's like Pro Tools or Logic Pro, uh, pretty much handles all your needs. That comes pre-installed in Ubuntu Studio. Okay, so the first uh thing that people ask me is what's the best cheapest audio interface i can get away with uh spending money on that's still good quality and uh you'll see that uh because of this this business here this audio consulting business that i do i've been to a lot of people's home studios before the uh current situation uh uh, that which should not be named. Uh, I traveled to 
musicians and professional artists studios around the greater Denver area to their home studio setups and help them directly with their gear and most of the time they did not consult me beforehand so they just got the gear that they got and so based on my personal experience and the difficulty or lack thereof I've had in uh, setting up uh, and helping people set up uh, their digital audio workstation or home recording, studio recording setup, um, it, it's led me to recommend this particular setup, which is the, um, the PreSonus uh, AudioBox i2 uh, for a couple of reasons. This is about a hundred bucks. It's a USB 2 interface. It does high definition audio, 24 bit, 96K sample rate. It has a 48 volt uh, uh, for phantom power for your uh, condenser mics. And it has two inputs on the front that can be either a quarter inch or a XLR. And then uh, instrument buttons and also this, this knob right here, which makes things really really uh, flow in the studio is uh, you've got your your input monitoring and your playback and a mix thereof depending on how you turn this knob. Now the other reason this this interface is really good is because it uh, it is PreSonus and PreSonus uh, is they give you a lot of support. Now with this interface comes one of the most popular free uh, digital audio workstations. There are pro versions and uh, there's a couple of different levels above the free version that give you like more plugins etc but um, f for just using the the free version uh, uh, it's it's a pretty robust uh, digital audio workstation comes with a lot of filters and plugins and also some uh, synths and samplers and a drum sampler right from off the bat from the free version. So this this is called Studio One right here. So any any interface that you buy from PreSonus like this one is going to come with a copy of Studio One. Now the interesting thing about Studio One is if you've been in audio for a while or you know musicians or other people who have been in audio for a while since about the 90s, since the very earliest digital audio workstations uh, there has been a program called Cubase. Well, the German gentleman who wrote Cubase, he left uh, Steinberg and he went to PreSonus and he is the one who wrote this program. So Studio One, I always look at it like a better, cleaner, more, more well-implemented version of Cubase. It has a lot of the same feels to it. So if you're coming from Cubase, you can translate to it. Um, it's, it's, it's a good app. It's solid. It, you can, you can quickly learn it and you can, you can do a lot with it. So that's, that's the, the main draw that I would say, get this. If you just want to do the least hassle, you don't want to have to think about a, a, a interface and then an, an application and make decisions based on both of them. Um, because this comes with Studio One, it pretty much works with the interface off the box, right out of the box, and, and you don't have any trouble uh, the, the software recognizing the interface. Um, the other really good reason to get this as your first interface is because it, uh, I don't know if they show it here, um, but it, it is, des yeah, there you go. Okay, so it is designed to also plug a, a iPad into the back of it, and there's a special piece of software for the iPad that lets you record with this pretty much on the go. This gets its power from the iPad. Uh, you, you charge both of them and link them together. I don't know if they're going to show the back of it. Oh, there you go. Right, so see, there you go. Device, um, the, the device is, is your that's where you're gonna plug it in. So it has a MIDI in and out. It powers normally through the Mac or PC with USB, but this extra port is so that you can use this uh, 
can use this iPad app with, uh, with the PreSonus in the field. So that's pretty handy. I mean, most of the time you're going to want to use this thing in the studio, someplace quiet, especially if you're doing stuff, you know, that's mic'd. Uh, and you're going to be wanting to use Studio One. Um, so that that would be the short the short answer for anybody wanting to get into this stuff uh, on the cheap and the least hassle. Okay, so now for people who might already have an interface or they just want to use the interface that is, uh, you know built into their PC tower or something. Uh, that's why I have provided this page as a sub page to my audio cons consulting page uh, on my site because it has links to all of these open source uh, and free options out there. And so you'll see right here I have Audacity listed. That, that link takes you directly to this page. This is Audacity. It is your Swiss Army tool of, uh, of audio. Uh, you can do multi-track audio with it. It will let you multi-track and mix between multiple tracks. It has filters in it. Uh, it, 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 it. Like I said, it's a Swiss Army knife. It can be used for a lot of things. It does not do MIDI. It doesn't have synthesizers built into it. It doesn't recognize MIDI devices. The most it can do is use your built-in... Uh, audio cards, MIDI uh, sound uh, sound module to play a MIDI file. Uh, it will open MIDI files dot dot mid uh, files. So uh, if you're looking for a full featured thing, that's not probably where you want to go. But Audacity is something you should have anyways because you can use it on a stereo mix of your tracks you did in a digital audio workstation too. Uh, you, there's several useful tools in it to do uh, mastering of your stereo mix and uh, and it, it converts files really well between uh, different audio formats so like I said Swiss Army Knife uh, if all you're gonna do is old-school um, multi-tracking and all your instruments are gonna be live plugged-in instruments uh, or, or mic'd instruments then you can get away with using this right off the bat and you'll never have to think about another DAW. But if you're going to dabble your toes, if you're a keyboard player, or you're going to dabble your toes in the synthesizer or MIDI world at all, this is not going to help you that much. It doesn't really have that many features for that. All right, so, okay, going back here. Now I'm going to take you to uh, Reaper. Reaper is, if, if people... Uh, want to go if, if they're not if they're already running Mac or Windows and they don't want to go completely off the deep end in this world uh, Reaper is the way to go Reaper is a free and paid app it has a advanced version but um, if you go to their website right now you can down download a temporary Reaper license okay so uh, that is because of everything that's going on. They know musicians can't make money by playing out live and everything. So during this time, uh, they are letting you download the latest version of Reaper. And then you just click this link at the top and you can get a uh, free license. But normally, it is a limited version, limited time version. And then you have to pay 60 bucks. It's, it's such an advanced digital audio workstation, Reaper. Uh, for 60 bucks that you probably want to use it and it does everything it has a load of plugins built in it has it, it, its own uh, effects and 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 instruments uh, MIDI instruments but it also understands the major um, uh, different MIDI formats of different uh, virtual instruments and 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 uh, other plugins and you can, you know, tell it to go to a custom folder to look at, uh, you know, any third-party uh, plugins that you have, so it can recognize them when it starts up. So Reaper, Reaper is is an amazing uh, app. It runs equally well and stable on Mac, uh, Windows, uh, or Linux, 
and uh, it really shines on Linux, which is what I'm going to talk about in a second. But basically, for right now at least, it's for all intents and purposes is is a free app, and it's 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 going to do you solid. It's uh, every bit the app that say a Pro Tools or a uh, 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 Logic Pro or a, uh, you know on par with those apps. So it's a good one to check out. All right, so got that. Now on to the final thing. I know I said this was going to be a short video. Looks like it's already uh, not that short. But uh, anyways, uh, I ramble. That happens. Okay, so here you go. Ubuntu Studio. Okay, I have this on my uh, audio resources page as well. So you can get links to that. If you hit this link here, or you, this is one of the awesome plugins that came with Ubuntu Studio Guitar RX. Uh, it's or Guitar X. Uh, um, it it's 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 a awesome little amp, guitar amp type thing. So, anyways, Ubuntu Studio. This is their website. This is uh, this is going to be for those of you who really want to leave the world of uh, proprietary software, overpriced software, uh, overt control of how you use the software, um, bad technical support, uh, and various other problems inherent with proprietary operating systems like Mac OS or Windows. Uh, if you want to do uh, this install, you basically, your best bet is to, uh, this is like an install disk that you can download there. Uh, it's an image that you have to burn to a DVD. But basically, you install this by wiping the system. So wipe this, the hard drive or use a new hard drive and only have this system on there and what happens is uh, you see these icons here it it comes pre-installed with video photography audio painting uh, uh, vector graphics all these icons represent all the awesome stuff that's built in to this uh, operating system it's a Linux operating system that is for creative people, like it says right here, a free and open operating system for creative people. So basically it takes the hassle out of going to Linux. So you get the security of Linux, you get the low low overhead on your system resources that, that comes with Linux, but the, the hassle of uh, installing all of these apps and making everything talk to everything which for audio and, and certain parts of Linux can be daunting to do yourself uh, this comes pre-installed with all of these apps that are categorized so you go in there graphics has a subcategory photography all your photography apps are going to be in there darkroom apps everything regular graphics apps are under that category too um, video audio, office, uh, um, different different things that you would do are categorized and there's multiple apps that are pre-installed with this operating system. And let me tell you something, they're all top-notch, they all work stable, and you can be doing high-end video, high-end audio production, high-end photography, and other graphic design on a system that you wouldn't have thought you could do it on. In other words, this system requires less resources and uh, it's great if you have a, a really fast computer with a lot of RAM, but it doesn't require it. So anyways, it's ubuntustudio.org. Uh, check it out if, if you are so inclined. And if you need anything else, there is a link in the description that has my info in it. And you can get to this site. And there's many other links on the side bar of this site 
that will take you to other things that I do. But uh, I am available uh, for consulting with Skype or Google Meet. Uh, I am on Discord. There's links to my Discord on my site. Um, so, yeah, that's it. This is the uh, this is the main thing I wanted to show people because uh, uh, some of my friends were asking, and you know who you are, uh, for other friends because they know that this is possible, but they just don't know what comes recommended. So I'm the go-to guy. Uh, have a happy, and we'll talk to you soon.